Greetings, unsettled souls. Ah. Go! So hard to do this show by yourself. Welcome aboard, friends. Welcome aboard. It is uh, the Massive Fukushima update. Now, there has been a change. The Massive Fu Fukushima update is going to be done in uh, this month for separate videos. And the reason for that is because we've been picked up, thankfully, by Opera News. Opera News posts 10-minute videos, so I thought that it was easier just to break these up into four sections <clears throat> than it was to shoot it and then have to cut it down later. That's just more time. That's simply more time for, for no reason. It's not a good use of time. So I'm posting them this way. Let me know what you think of the idea, because uh, it is what we're going to be doing for a moment. Uh, ABC News, discontent over Fukushima nuclear disaster response cast shadow over the Tokyo Olympics. Uh, I mean, granted, this is over, but I wanted, that's why I'm not going to go into great detail here, but I wanted to show you this. <clears throat> this is from ABC News now. ABC News is now finally going ahead and saying exactly what all of us have been saying for a while. They are saying what so many of us have warned all of you about for a very long time, and we were called crackpots, and people didn't want to listen to us. Remember that? Like, knocking over my tripod here. While the quasi-state-owned power firm that runs the embattled nuclear power plant, that would be TEPCO, that would be GE, where you don't invest even in a mutual fund, has suggested a 30 to 40 year timeline for decommissioning, Kurokawa said conflicting research estimates that it could take at least 100 years. <clears throat> now you may be thinking, all right, well, why do I care if it takes 100 years? I don't care if it takes 1,000 years. ABC News and a lot of the mainstream media, let's face it, they are quite famous for what they don't say. So let me explain and remind you of a few things. One thing in particular, if you will. Japan was created by an earthquake, and there's a very good likelihood that Japan will someday be taken away actually, by an earthquake. Why? Because the plates, plate tectonics, they move, and at some point above, up pop Japan. Another earthquake could very well change the ocean floor geography. And China could go right back, you know, and who knows, the floor of the ocean, drink it right up. Now, there's a greater likelihood in the next 100 years <clears throat> of Japan suffering something significantly less than that. Okay. Yesterday, two days ago, the earthquake killed 349 people in uh, Haiti. Massive death toll. Massive. They're happening all over the world in more frequency. If something like that were to hit the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, The amount of toxins that are stored in the fuel pools, which are three stories up, they can't get them down. They don't, why don't they bring them down? They don't bring them down because they can't bring them down. If they come anywhere near a lot of the radiation from when this happened over a decade now ago, they, they will be juiced. They will die. It will be the end of them. So they have no way, they're trying to reinforce the building, but if anything knocks these over, the amount of nuclear poison that is stored there, depending on how much of it was released, could be an extinction event. Maybe not that bad. Okay, maybe it would only, only make the northern hemisphere unlivable. You would have to live south of the equator. Some people uh, hypothesize that that is why you don't, see nuclear reactors south of the equator in South America or in things like that, although that's probably going to end up changing with all of the Green New Deal and global warming hysteria going on. 
There is no man-made global warming, by the way. Man-made global warming is a lie. That doesn't mean it's a good idea to throw toxins into the air because we breathe those in and we know what toxins do. They give you lung cancer. They give you emphysema. They give you all kinds of problems. The not-so-funny comic, um, no, oh, what's her name? That Kathy Griffin. <clears throat> I don't think she's very talented. I didn't think she's very funny before she did the Trump thing, but I will say this. I don't want to see her have lung cancer. She got lung cancer and she doesn't smoke. How does that happen? Well, I can tell you this. The answer isn't to, to open up more nuclear power plants because nuclear power plants have routine releases which cause lung cancer, so that's not the solution. However, if it's going to take a hundred years to clean this up, does anyone listening to my voice right now, whether they are a scientist or a janitor, whether they are a political commentator or an astronaut, do you really believe, based on what you have seen in your lifetime, regardless of how old you are, do you legitimately believe that those embattled buildings in Japan can stand for the next 30, 40 to 100 years, depending on whose estimate you want to take as fact, do you honestly believe that they're going to stand that long without a significant weather event like an earthquake or a tsunami wiping out that part of Asia. Is there anything which you have ever seen in any textbook? Is there anything that you have seen through observations in your own life from science? Is there anything at all that implies that that could be the case? Because if you, if you don't think that, and I certainly don't, well, then we follow, we follow the logical train of thought. There is enough nuclear poison stored at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant that if it takes a hundred years for them to take this thing down, you may as well count it over now. <clears throat> um, that's, that's a travesty. And I point that out because a long time ago, not it seems like yesterday, but I guess it, you know, many, ten years ago now, it was crazy to talk about it. And then a few years on, a few more people talked about it. You saw it on natural news. You saw it on the more prudent websites. And now you're finding it on garbage sites like ABC. You're finding it on major news sites. They're like, yeah, um, so yeah, this might take 100 years. We've, we made some mistakes here. We, we made a few errors. We have to admit that. Okay, it's a little bit late for this now. While the quasi-state-owned power firm that runs the embattled plant, that's, that's, that, that whole quote is just crazy. Just crazy. 100 years. So there you go, friends. They say one of the things they did wrong, check this out. One of the things they did wrong was they were too busy worrying about what other people thought and respecting the state government. What does that sound like? Check my last video on Uga Booga. Thank you for listening, friends. There'll be more Fukushima videos coming right in a row here. It's the massive Fukushima update, after all. Good night, friends. God bless.